Hey you lovely people welcome back to my channel well uh, to get over these 21 days of lockdown you need a few things in your life that you want to do or you want to learn or you want to see and most of us are restoring to the art form whether it be movies whether it be music whether it be games whether it be books everything related to arts and various forms of it but as a creator and as a photographer i have five movies for you which is related to photography and they are great inspiration to watch during such times of crisis it will keep your hopes alive it will keep your faith alive and it will help you go ahead in the future with positive mind frame trust me you would love these movies there is one thing in which i am an actual pro i recommend the best movies to my friends and family trust me when i say i do i do it i know that i do it so here it is a list of five movies that you can watch right now if you are a photographer or a creator or an artist whatsoever that will inspire you and that will help you to keep going forward the first movie in my list is the secret life of walter mitty what a beautiful movie that was i remember when i watched it for the first time in the year 2013 i was actually dumbstruck i mean the movie is so brilliantly shot the location okay. the story uh, and the uh, the characters and finally the brilliant ending of the movie well i haven't really been any the plot goes like this that walter mitty a negative assets manager at life magazine who dreams dreams of adventure and has a crush on a co-worker named shell and you know we have known or we have seen characters who daydreams a lot but this movie will give you a visual representation of daydreaming and every one of you can relate to it so walter mitty here works with a famous photographer played by sean penn so as a thank you gesture of working together for so long sean penn or Sean O'Connell as in the movie sends Walter Mitty uh, some uh, negatives of his photograph and a wallet as a gift but the 25th negative was missing and Sean O'Connell believes negative number 25 captures the quaint essence of life and that it should be used for the cover of the magazine's final print issue the ice jace she moves like a woman i'd like to climb your hair oh wow what is it you call it when he goes into one of his little places? Oh, zoned out. You do that now and then. What's the matter? But the negative is Lost missing. I like mysteries. Forcing you Walter to stall for time with corporate transition manager who is handling the downsizing. While he views Finish the other screen. negatives, Cheryl suggests that Mitty think of the negatives as clues to Sean's location. So now he has got all the images together, all the negatives together, but only 25th is missing. So he used the other images or the other negatives as the clues to Sean's location. And he sets off a journey of beauty, of dreams, of beautiful landscapes. He'll take you to Iceland, he'll, stay, he'll take you to Greenland. The landscapes in the movies are breathtaking. Trust me when I say breathtaking, it's absolutely stunning. You can see Greenland, you can see Iceland as never before. And finally it ends in India in the Himalayas. I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. It's better if you watch it for yourself and find out what happens in the end. My second movie is actually a documentary, a beautiful, beautiful documentary, but a beautiful story altogether. The name of the documentary is Finding Vivian Mayer. Work in LA, in London, Chicago. We've had more interest in this work than any other photographer. It's a 2013 documentary about, for, about a photographer named Vivian Mayer, who was a French-American woman who worked most of her life as a nanny and housekeeper to many Chicago families. And she carried a camera everywhere she went. She, you know, she was a passionate photographer. She never printed the photos that he took all her life. New York, in LA, in London, Chicago. But you know, the beauty of this documentary is all of her works, all of her legendary works are not known to anyone until she died. Not even to herself, Vivian Ware. She died in 2009. So someone discovered her work and after her death uncovered her life through interviews with people who knew her. The guy who found out about her, uh, you know, purchased a box of photo negatives in the Chicago auction. They scanned the images and put them on the internet. News articles began to come about Meyer and as a Kickstarter campaign for the documentary was soon underway. The film was also nominated for the Academy Awards for Best Documentary Feature at the 87th Academy Awards. So the documentary goes through her life works. Some 
mind blowing and breathtaking images. She would take us and we would just walk in the worst parts of town and I think she liked that. So imagine a film which started as a Kickstarter campaign and then finally getting nominated for Academy Awards. Such is the beauty of this beautiful documentary and the images that you will see in this documentary is breathtaking. It will speak to you, it will communicate to you in a different level altogether. So my second movie in the list, Finding Vivian Mayer. Please find it on the internet. So since I'm talking movies and stuff like that, so I found out this guy on internet, you know, he actually, uh, you know, introduced the best quarantine starter pack. You know, it consisted the links of movies, TV series, games, whatever you need to go through this type of, you know, isolation or self quarantine, whatever. So this guy posted Google Drive links, you know, of at least around 50 movies, 50 games, 50 TV series, music, you know, the best quarantine startup. Even though I know that I should not promote piracy, but during such hard times where money is come, hard to come by, where businesses are difficult, it's okay to cut yourself a little slack. So please watch out for the links. I'll drop them in the description box below. So before, but before you download, remember that this is not mine. This is totally of the guy who has uploaded them in the Google Drive. I don't imagine the amount of space that he has on Google Drive. And I, I think it's an unlimited storage. So moving on to movie number three, it's called A Thousand Times Good Night. Pictures of war. So this is a movie about a photojournalist who is obsessed with reporting in dangerous war zones. She documents a group of female suicide bombers in Afghanistan. She accompanies one of the suicide bombers to Kabul, where the premature detonation of the bomb severely injures her. So finally, her husband confronts her, you know, and her daughter, who force her to choose between covering war zones or a family. She chooses a family. But the daughter is so intrigued with her mother's photograph that she finally ends up joining her mother in, a, in shooting a refugee camp in Africa. The husband agrees assuming that the trip will be safe. Instead, the camp is attacked by an armed group that begins murdering people in their tents. Rebecca sends her daughter to safety but stays in the camp to document the attack. So this movie which is so powerful in its storyline, such a visually appealing storyline and also the images that were being shown as the photojournalist uh, shows her works, breathtaking. I am sure, I know this movie will actually help you, you know, create more, you know, follow your passion more because this is what passion does to you. It will not care if you are in safe hands or if you are in a danger or war zone because this is what passion does for you. In, once you are passionate about something, you won't care about anything else or the consequences that it may occur in that process. But this movie is one brilliant showcase of a life of a photojournalist who specializes in war. I will not spoil the movie for you. Please watch it out for yourself. I loved it. I'm sure that you will do it too. So going over to my number four movie. The name of the movie is War Photographer. And just as the movie said, it deals in war photography. It is again a documentary and one of the main themes of the documentary is a level to which a journalist should become involved in the events that they are there to document. This is about the life and works of the great photographer James Nactway. So imagine the amount of involvement that these people had to put into their work. Injured by a grenade to shoot or something. Would I deal with the responsibility of being there with a camera? This documentary uses footage filmed with a small camera, uh, the small video camera, which is fitted on uh, Nactway's DSLR. So this really gives a first person experience of the interactions of the uh, situations of the affected areas and also the amount of involvement that a photographer has to go through in covering photojournalism. He thinks he can publish. A film about a committed, shy man who is considered one of the bravest and most important war photographers of our time, but hardly fits the cliché of the hard-boiled war veteran. You know, movies like this or images like the ones which are shown in these movies, it actually shows that photography is not just taking a beautiful picture of a landscape or a person or food in golden light or in beautiful light. It's so much more. It tells stories, it tells emotions and it, you know, it depicts the history as it has happened. Amazing experience watching these movies. I'm sure you loved them. 
even though you're not a photographer but you are anyone in the world anywhere in the world there's a lot to learn from these movies and last but not the least the last movie in my list is Ansel Adams a documentary film yes Ansel Adams perhaps the best photographer the world has ever known some way to put together those little fragments of the world in a way that transformed them into a picture in the same way that you know a poet uses the same dictionaries the, the rest of us do all the words are in there the film features images of Adam's work, readings of his writing, archival footage and original footage of the landscapes that inspired him. Interviews subjects to a wide range of people including his son, his daughter and himself. Director Rick Buttons shot portions of the film in the same landscapes that were the setting for the Adam's most iconic images. The director once said and I quote, to get to the heart of what so inspired Ansel Adams, we literally followed in his footsteps. We lugged our cameras up sheer rock faces and hiked the winding trails that led Ansel to his photographic revelations and that led us to Ansel. This movie is so inspiring, so so inspiring. Because to tell you a fact, the camera which Ansel Adams uses or used all his life and the camera that you have right now with yourself any one of you no matter wherever you are who you are the camera that you have is much better than what Ansel Adam used all his life but still he produced images that are breathtaking that are mind-blowing and they're a piece of art and preserved in history following the close of the American frontier he first encountered the awesome beauty of Yosemite Valley in the summer of 1916 from that day he later wrote my life has been colored so here it is my list of five movies that will inspire you to keep creating in difficult times such as this please do watch them and do tell me how they were and if you have liked this video please do like comment share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment box below if i'll continue making videos such as this this is a new thing that i've attempted in my channel and it would be great if, you, if i can get some feedback along with it but before i leave i just request you to listen to one thing please please stay at home because the time that you are speaking 15 people is affected by COVID-19 and out of them two died in my country this is really dangerous times and you would not know until it hit you so please it's my earnest request to everyone to stay at home and I'm sure movies like the ones which I recommended and uh, the links that I've given below will help you get through this get through the difficult times It'll be soon over, but before that, we need every one of us to stay together and stay put at home. Let's do it for the world this time. This is Ritham signing off and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much.